Hello everyone, sorry about that, and we are back. So we have 16 coal and 3 iron total. Not good, but certainly not bad, it could always be worse. We also have a little bit of redstone there, so we can come back here, get some redstone, and uh, eventually I guess we can start working on a powered rail. Oh wow, that was... What is that? Is that like, is that a problem with Optifine or something? Because when you click it, it just... Okay, that that's... Maybe I just never paid attention, I'm not at attentive. But I don't think that's supposed to happen. Uh, whatever. Well, uh, we'll, we'll roll with it. And uh, we have ourselves some nice coal. Now, what I'm going to do is when I get back to my main base, I'm going to look up the uh, seed for this as well as the uh, coordinates so that you guys can play along if you'd like. If you guys find this interesting or whatever, you guys can just hop along and have a good time. So let's hope that works out fine. And uh, if you do want to do that, you can, of course, record your own perspective and maybe make your own adventure alongside mine, post as a video response so we can have a good time. So uh, we'll get back to that soon, and let's start heading up. I think... One thing I should probably get is a single player commands mod. That way I can like TP back to my spawn and things like that. Just tell me what you think. Should I get t uh, single player commands or will it take away from the campaign of this? And uh, I know there's not really much of a campaign, but you get what I'm trying to say. Like, will it take away from the game if I get the single player commands or will it add something to it, the let's play? That way you guys uh, don't get too bored along the way from me just traveling to and from my base. And uh, yeah, so I don't know. We'll see how that one pans out. Alright, so I think we took the wrong water stream up. We gotta probably take another one. I think, yeah, one of these ones is probably it. Yeah, this is the one right here. This one will lead us to the very top. At least it's... Holy shit, never mind, it's this one. Jesus, that scared me a bit there. There we go. I also might use a little technique I found from uh, Bushman. You may or may not know him if you follow my stuff, but uh, if you do know him, it's a little technique for breathing underwater. Basically, if you put a torch near an object underwater, like a, like a block, and you stand near it for that moment, it'll actually replenish your, um, whatever it's called. It'll replenish your uh, breathing, I guess you could say, or your air count. Now, just so I know which way is my base, and I don't forget if I ever come back here, I'm just going to put a little directional pad there in case I ever forget. And uh, there we go. Yeah, it's just actually out of sight, which is kind of funny. It's a little bit aggravating, but uh, it's no big deal. It's just kind of weird that like it literally just misses it. If you're wondering, my distance is on normal. It's not on anything more than that because I don't need anything more than that. It's not like it's going to add anything with just ocean all around. But what it will do is lag the game up and slow it down. So that's my reasoning. I'm sorry if you wanted me to put it on far distance. It just doesn't make logical sense because all you'll see is water, 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 and lag, 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 lag. It's probably not a good idea. Oh, hello there, Co- Oh, no. My dog just ran out of there with another milk bone. I gave her a milk bone after the walk, and, uh... I'm afraid I might have left the door open, so she just keeps running in there and eating. So I might have to go check that out. Oh, god, I'm going to check that out later, though. We'll see. If my dog comes back with another milk bone, then we know something's up. Otherwise, who knows? Maybe she just has another one. Let's see. Okay, we're going to be running back to the base here. And we finally, finally made it back. So one second, guys. I'm just going to look up how I'm supposed to check the coordinates and stuff like that, and I'll be right back. Okie dokie. So we just go. No. Hold on. There we go. So that's the seed right there. Apparently it's negative 164547999447397443. That's uh, right there, so you can see. And the seed, I mean, not the seed, the uh, coordinates are right there. See, 20.419x, your y is 65.62, your z is 699.28, and I'm not sure what f means, but it's 3. So, uh... If you guys want to join along, that's what you can do, and uh, you can check it out there. So let's get started with this. Just turning to nightfall now. Let's get... Uh, we can use two furnaces, I think. So let's get two furnaces here, and uh, let's place these ones down right here. We don't need much of a base, but uh, just even this is a good enough area. And then we can get this going on. Run that over to here. Uh, grab some more. There we go. Now we have sticks, we can grab some of those torches there, 16 of them is a nice amount. And would you look at that, we actually got our second tree. So now we might have enough to start building ourselves a chest, which would be nice in case we die, we don't want to lose all of our items, and uh, at least this means we're getting somewhere, you know what I mean? I was afraid that the, uh, the trees would take a long time to grow, but apparently they want to help me out, they're on my team here, and uh, we're all working together to try and beat this, so let's just keep on going.
I also have learned a lot in my time playing Minecraft, so I finally, even though it took a while, I finally understand how enchantments work, things like that, and uh, that should be able to add to this gameplay, which I'm happy about. Otherwise, I think this would have been a little bit slow and uh, challenging, because uh, when I used to try and play Minecraft and beat it to the end, I had no clue about enchantments and how powerful they were. I just thought they were kind of useless, and I know you're thinking I'm an idiot, and I will admit I am a complete idiot. Just like that, apparently you can't open chests when there's a block on top of it, so... Uh, GG, I am stupid. I think it would be this one, yeah. That's the one right there. So we can just move that now. We can go there, take this block, collect it, and there we go. Wow! That has got to be the most embarrassing death I've ever had in Minecraft. Okie dokie, sorry about that. I, uh. Wow, that was. Quite embarrassing. Okay, so let's try and drop some things in here. What do we have that's of value? Uh, as funny as it sounds, I don't really know if there's anything here that is valuable. So, I guess our wood is probably the most valuable, so we'll throw our wood... Oh, well, no, I need enough that I can build myself a uh, nice little iron pickaxe here. So let's go here. Press on that iron... Oh, uh, throw that in there. Drop these. There we go. Now we can throw these guys back in here. Drop the coal in there. We don't really need that right now. Gravel we don't need. Wooden planks drop up there. Torches we need. And the pickaxes might as well bring along. So we're going to take these guys and we are going to go all the way back to our area. Way out there. And we're going to start mining even more. We're going to do some more severe mining. Hopefully pick up a little bit more iron. And uh, as daytime comes around, let's hope for the best and hope that some of these saplings develop again. And uh, we don't need bone, <coughs> bone meal to try and uh, progress through this campaign. So, we're doing pretty good, I gotta admit. I was afraid the uh, wood would be a major problem and it might slow down this series, but uh, once that tree grew, it seems like everything fell into place. We have enough for a ton more torches. We can still build our tools, things like that. We have two chests, we have a crafting table. All is well in the world of Minecraft. Now, let's keep going over here. Do, 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 do. Yeah, I got, I'm going to need to build a boat. Next time when I get back there, I'm going to go and build a boat. That way we can actually make it all the way there and back in a reasonable amount of time. I'll even build a little bit of a dock over there near the ravine. And uh, once I clear it out, I'll probably get rid of that whole little arrow thingy right there. But until then, I think that's going to be our main deposit of uh, resources, at least for a while. Hopefully below the uh, our little island there, we can find a gold mine of items. But uh, I don't know that for sure. There probably is a cavern there, because there's always caverns all over Minecraft. But in the event that there isn't, hopefully we'll by then have explored enough of the surrounding islands that we actually learned something. So let's go down here. Do, do, do. Now, we ha we made it a little bit in that... What's that zombie doing? I don't know if you guys can see, but uh, let me just... Oh, he was in the water. That's why he was spazzing out. Oh, God, that zombie's chasing after me now. Let's try and get away from Mr. Zombie over there. Okie dokie. And... Uh, what is in this surround... That is a creeper. Oh, shit. Shit, 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 shit. Come on, come on. Fuck, I should have brought a few building blocks. These guys are not going to let me go, are they? I have a bad, bad feeling about this. Okay, come on, break through this. Wow. This is lucky. Come on. Holy crap. That could not have been luckier. So let's start getting down to business and uh, mining out some of this iron right here. Come on, be more than just two pieces. Yes, there we go. I was afraid there'd only be two, and there's only three. What are with all these really small iron deposits? It's uh, it's getting a little bit aggravating, because uh, we're not going to be able to get much things, and I'm hoping that by the end of uh, at least part three, we have full iron armor. Maybe part four, but uh, I hope it progresses a little more. There we go. Uh, I just grabbed a little bit of more iron, but only four there. We haven't got any major deposits, like eight pieces or anything like that. So uh, let's see. Hopefully we can find the next one. I'm calling it. The next iron deposit is going to be at least seven pieces. And oopsies, it looks like we have a skeleton challenger right there. Uh, hopefully, hopefully we can kill him and grab ourselves like a power one bow or something. But uh, even just arrows will be nice for now. Yep, we got two arrows. That's still not bad, though. Arrows are better than nothing. I got to admit that much. So at least that's nice there.